So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe, and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for our Divine Feminines. All right, so all of our DF, Empress, High Priestess, Energy only. If you in any way at all identify as a Divine Masculine, hunty, you can go ahead and get up. Because this reading right now is not for you. Not for you. Not for you. Not for you. All right, let us go ahead, you all, and get into this reading. Let us see what the messages are that Spirit has here for Joel on today. Thank you, Spirit. What are the messages here? Mm, mm, mm. Come into the space, Spirit. Spirit is always here. Let's be clear. All right. Feel it. Feel it, spirit. Feel your presence. All right. Let us go ahead. Get into it. Oh, we got unknown territory. This is not even supposed to be here, shoddy. You are exactly where you need to be. All right. So you're like, what's happening next? What's going to go on? What's coming of this? You are exactly where you need to be. All right. Continue to trust your wisdom. Your inner wisdom. You know the way. You know what to do. All right, we have your commitment is being tested. Ooh, your commitment to yourself, your commitment to your person, your commitment to the journey. All right, it's being tested. Are you dedicated? Are you devoted? And to what? Okay. Yeah, work through your fears. Okay. What are you releasing at this time? Okay, what fears are you releasing? The energy is gaining momentum. Okay, so clearly something is being released. Because action is picking up, okay? You're getting more speed here. Underlying the energy adjustments are required, okay? Still need to let go of some more things. So what are they? Fears. What are these fears? Fear of what? Failure? Fear of success? What exactly are we afraid of? Let us see. All right, what's underneath that? A time for healing, okay? So perhaps someone is trying to skip the healing part or something yeah see releasing somebody's trying to skip the healing part like something needs to be released you can't hold on to it, it could be a grudge or some sort of negative emotion that someone is holding on to i mean fear yeah but okay let's see all right we have seek healing yeah see someone could be trying to skip the healing part Okay, it's a healing moon energy. All right. Higher power, moon goddess. Okay. Your commitment to your higher power is being tested. Okay, take a risk, take a chance, work through your fears. Again, somebody could be afraid of failure or afraid of success. Because, you know, more money, more problems, new levels, new devils. You know what I mean? Like people think, oh, you level up and everything gets easier. <laughs> hmm. Right? But it says go for it. Reach for the moon. It doesn't get easier. You just know how to deal with it better. All right? Underline the energy. Courage. Exactly. Blood moon. Courage. All right? So be courageous. Be bold. All right? All right. Let's see. We have denial and recalling. Okay. Interesting way to start. <laughs> Very interesting escapade. Okay. The mind could be going away soon. Go for it. Take a risk. Unconditional love towards your person. All right. Could be going towards your person soon. All right. They're coming towards you. Feel like they want more, need more, got to have more. It's like adjustments are required. Perhaps that's what it is. They're afraid of, or they were afraid of the relationship not working out. You could have reminded them of someone that they knew in the past, or they could have reminded you of someone that you knew in the past or something like that. But project it, okay? Yeah. In the future, you guys are going to be reconnecting, okay? Um, they could have wanted to be a specific way. They're not that way anymore, you know? They could have been out here playing and doing all of that stuff. They're not doing that now. All right. It could be because some of you stopped speaking or you stopped responding. Silence, non-action. You know, they're like, 
Um, they're not doing anything. They're not saying anything. You're not doing anything. You're not saying anything. You know, it's that type of energy. Nightlife. Yeah. But it says go for it. Take a risk. Okay. So spirit is telling you take a risk. Something that someone was trying to deny, they can no longer deny. If they were trying to deny you, honey, baby, no. No. You have a hole on this person. Okay. And this person could be coming closer to you soon here. Okay. Let us see. They feel like they can't deny their feelings anymore or something. Mm-hmm. Mm. They got caught up in something. That's not keeping them away from their feminine, though. Okay. So let us see what's going on. Yeah, see? But it's not keeping them away from you. Nothing's going to keep them away from that flame. They're always going to go for it. That's what I'm getting. All right. Mm-hmm. Hey, man, this person could be looking at the situation from a different perspective these days. Again, adjustments are required. The sun. So they could have felt bad for being happy or you did. Or someone's successful and they feel bad about it or whatever the case is here. Spirit is like, what are you doing? You know, the happy. <laughs> Trust what it is that you feel. It's okay. Yes, yeah, so it's masculine. It's okay to be happy. Okay. It's okay to feel passion. It's okay to feel joy. You don't have to deny yourself those things, okay? <clears throat> yeah, two of cups. You don't have to deny yourself love, true love, okay? Knight of Pentacles, you can take your time. You can ease into it, but you don't have to block it out, you know? That's what I'm getting here. That's what Spirit is saying, so either to you or to your person. Just take them as it resonates. We have the Nine of Swords. Somebody's in their mind thinking about you a lot. Okay, this person is building the courage to come to you. They've been suffering in silence with this karmic. You got the justice card here. Okay, and they want to make something right with you. They feel like apologizing to you and telling you the truth about something. Well, you know, make something right and have you open your heart again. Whatever that something is. Person wants to propose. Ace of Pentacles is my engagement ring. They feel like you are their empress. There's something that they want to talk to you about. They're divine feminine, okay? Divine counterpart. Ten of Cups is marriage. Happily ever after. Building a life together. Okay. But this person feels like, again, they just going to have to go for it. Yeah, see? They feel like they got to go for it. You're their lover. And they feel connected to you in so many ways. They feel like they cannot deny this feeling. Yeah, the moon. They cannot deny this feeling. It's deep. Very. Yeah. They think about you all the time. You're always on this person's mind. They don't think about anything or anyone this much, is what I'm hearing. Hmm. They don't think about anything or anyone as much as they think of you. Okay. Let's see. We have the Tower and the Eight of Wands. So, yeah, like I said, adjustments are required. And once you make those adjustments... Is gaining momentum. Things take off quick. See, work through your fears. Adjustments are required. You make those necessary adjustments, whatever they may be. It could just simply be not speaking up on how you feel. When you miss somebody, say, I miss you. When you love somebody, say, I love you. When you, you know, you want to spend time, say, I want to spend time. You know? Don't be afraid to just speak on your feelings or speak your truth live in that truth is what i'm getting okay all right so yeah let's see <clears throat> the seven of cups yeah someone could be confused this could be you very confused as to where this comes from or that's because they were hiding their feelings they were denying them they weren't necessarily sharing everything with you um mm. yeah eight of cups and a lot of you feel like, you know, you're over it. You're emotionally withdrawn from the situation. And once you do that, that's when someone realizes, like, oh, wait a minute. This is the one I want to marry, you know, because they continue to feel guided toward you. That's what I'm getting. They're realizing that their fears is, you know, their fear is what was blocking them. They're no longer going to do that. Straight up and down. Yeah, we got the Queen of Wands here. Okay, Queen of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. So they're like, okay. I'm attracted to this person. This is someone that I want to continue to, you know, 
put work into. Like, I want to work on this connection. I don't want to just leave it. You know what I mean? Leave it as is. Walk away. Again, remember, silence, non-action, cricket. Nobody was saying nothing. Nobody was doing nothing. We're not just going to leave it like that. I want to approach the situation. You know, I want to deal with this head on. I want to say how I'm feeling. I want to, you know, what's been on my mind and heart. Okay, Six of Cups. Reminiscing, nostalgia, like I said earlier, someone is thinking about you. Okay. It said recalling, Ten of Wands. They tried to get over it. It's just not, not it for them. You know, it's not working. Okay. So some of you should be expecting a phone call soon. All right. This person can feel you pulling your energy back. They're going through some sort of ego death here. Okay. Their ego is what prevented them from speaking up on their feelings this entire time. They're not going to do that anymore. No longer hiding behind their ego. You're going through a spiritual awakening. Going through a transition here with this tower and this death card. Yes, where they're learning that it's okay to be vulnerable and it's okay to express their heart. And they're going to do so quickly. They're coming towards you quickly. All right. Everything about you is intriguing to this person. They find you to be very intriguing. Okay. Ace of Cups. You have their whole heart here, feminine. All right. Whole thing. All right. Let us see. All right. Let us see. All right. Yeah, we got the hangman, Queen of Wands. Yeah, they find you to be very attractive. They're drawn to you very mysterious. They love the way that your mind works. And they feel like you're very creative and you're solid. You're someone that they know that they can depend on, for sure. You're full of joy, full of, you know, it is like you're full of bliss. And you help them experience that. Yeah, the Two of Cups, the lovers? Come on. Come on. With the Ten of Pentacles currently, come on. Yeah, this person is in love with you, feminine. They're in love, grah. <laughs> Got this man in love, grah. Like, I'm twerking for the love. <laughs> hey, Blue, please go to your auntie house. I'm um, already going. All right? Mm-mm-mm. Doggy bag. I love you guys. I love you, ladies. Mm-mm-mm. All right, so let us see. This person is coming towards you quick to say this. They know you got this guard up. They know you didn't block them out. They know you coming serious. <laughs> coming very serious. However, they're like, listen, I apologize. I didn't mean it. All right, we got the Nine of Swords and the Strength card. Let us see. All right, we got the Queen of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. God damn, girl, you ice cold. Ice. Ice, baby. You ice cold because you feel like that's only fair. You know, like this person has made you feel time and time again. I'm getting that. Mm -mm. You know, the complete opposite. The Queen of Wands is very warm. The Queen of Swords. Right? Think Queen of Wands, fire. Queen of Swords, air. You get what I'm saying? It can get pretty cold in the motherfucking uh, hills. You get what I'm saying? Pretty damn cold. All right? So... Um, <laughs> you get what I'm saying? It's completely different, but it, this person was not telling you. They were not telling you how it is that they were really feeling. They were keeping that to themselves. Therefore, right? You didn't know, or you started to doubt, or you whatever, right? With this person, mm -mm -mm. it's actually different because the hangman is all about perception. So again, this person just wasn't showing you everything. Then we have the moon to confirm that. The Nine of Swords is suffering in silence. The High Priestess is inner knowing. Yes. You may be extremely intuitive. You could definitely know it. Whenever this person is thinking about you, you know it. Look how she's sitting here on her laptop, right? Sitting here minding her business on her laptop. However, she looks over to the side. Why? Because she senses something. She knows something. She don't have to have nobody tell her. She don't have to hear a sound. She just knows it's there. You get what I'm saying? So you intuitively know, but what does that mean? If a person is not going to tell you, Okay, but I feel like that goes both ways, honestly, because again, with the silence and the non-action, they may not know how you feel until they come towards you, then it's like, oh, Queen of Swords, Five of Pentacles, 
nine of wands and they're like what the hell you know but again that's why the hangman is there now they have to look at it from your perspective and say oh because i wasn't showing this person that this is how i feel about them yes i may have felt these things i may have felt this way but i'm not showing them that i'm not giving them that yeah you see the seven of swords is keeping it to myself the seven of swords is sneaky energy is what people say right or it's deception so you may think oh this person is keeping something from me yes they're keeping the truth from you the truth of what their emotions their feelings so you're looking at them and saying oh they foul can't trust them can't trust them you can't trust them because they're hiding their feelings from you so you sit something there and this is what you're sensing you get what i'm saying so if you're like, I don't understand why this person continues to pursue me, I know they know that I sent some weird shit with them. The weird shit with them is that they love you. Is that they know you're their divine counterpart. The weird shit with them could also be for some of you with the lovers and the two of cups, they could have to choose between soulmate and twin flame. That's not an easy decision. You know, you could be their soulmate, their twin flame soulmate, which is amazing. Or this person could have to choose between the twin flame and the soulmate, which is definitely not an easy thing to choose between. Your soulmate loves you too. Your soulmate is going to go above and beyond for you too your soulmate is typically the one that people marry because the twin flame journey is so up and down and people want to hide their feelings and it's so intense and i just i'm afraid not that but with the soulmate everything's so easy you get what i'm saying and and so they just like uh you know like i just you know the, tw the soulmate will go above and beyond and do this and do that so that i don't have to say nothing with the twin we're making each other our best selves our higher selves are being tested so it's growth coming from that. But this person, they're attracted to that because they want to grow. They don't want to stay the same. I'm not saying you can't grow with a soulmate. I'm just saying it's a different experience and it's a different form of growth. You might grow in the physical earth. That's amazing. But I'm talking about spiritually growing as to where you start seeing things happening here on earth that maybe wouldn't have happened otherwise. There's certain work that you do with your spirit that changes everything here for you on earth. You get what I'm saying? So... You could do that work on your own, absolutely. I'm saying when the twins are connected, they're doing that work together. Okay? So, anyway, here's your discernment. Moving forward, all right? So, that's what I'm getting from this. All right? Yeah, to the pinnacles. person wants to build with you. It's about divine timing. All right? Again, if I have to make a decision like that, that's not an easy decision. Okay? But overall, the lovers is divine counterpart energy. Two of cups is love and soulmate. So, they love you and they feel like you're their divine counterpart. So, what they're hiding is their true feelings. See? Ace of cups. It's not the first time that we're seeing it. So, there's double emphasis on the fact that they're coming straight to you to make this offer. You see? Eight of wands, momentum. Not our first time seeing it. Okay? So, three of wands, near future. Soon. Isn't that what we started with? days weeks months they're coming towards you immediately you understand what i'm saying to you immediately all right they say listen i've been without you for a really long time now and it's too long you know it's too long yeah three of cups is reunion energy all right page of cups reconciliation apology let's come together this could also be a brand new relationship starting for some of you, you could have just met this person take the messages as they resonate um that could be for someone you know but we got the page of swords here reverse. Yeah, see in the death card. They're spying on you. So they're basically watching you walk away. And it was them watching you walk away or them seeing you walk away. Them seeing you were able to choose yourself. In the event this person was not going to give anything or they were just going to, yeah, whatever, act like there's nothing here. Okay, well, then to hell with what I feel. I'll just start somewhere else. I'll just do something else. I just won't do this. You know, and from that, they're like, whoa, it took them through an ego death. They're not used to that. You're able to walk away. You're able to choose yourself. Yeah, your commitment to yourself was being tested. What do you think I'm going to do? Sit here and be mistreated? You get what I'm saying? Yeah, force forward, forward. So I feel like it gave you peace of mind to walk away. And as far as this person is concerned, you know, it made them sick to their damn stomach, you know? So let us see. We have, yeah, the strength card and the tennis swords in reverse. No, it made them sick to their stomach. So they're building their strength back up. They're also healing. For those of you who this happened in the past or you had to walk away from them some time ago because they mistreated you or they played with you like you weren't their twin flame or something. And, you know, now they're healing from that. You're healing from that. You're, you guys are healing together. And it's not like you look at them as anything or whatever. You understand? You know, just like you had to heal, they have to heal. You understand? They're not judging you. You're not judging them. But the story is what it is, nevertheless. The situation is what it is, nevertheless. So yeah, two of cups. You still love each other. 
right and the eight of cups yeah but that's what it is you had to because this person wasn't seeing this connection for what it was at the time yeah you had to and now here comes this brand new beginning where they like oh i'm so in love with you you see what i'm saying you're the person for me i'm so in love with you but if you wouldn't have walked away from them they wouldn't have known that nobody had the audacity nobody had the nerve nobody had the self-love to walk away from this person and you said to hell with this okay i love me more than anything all right yeah, Queen of Cups. <laughs> I love me more than anything. Knight of Cups, my commitment to myself. See, your commitment to yourself was being tested. How committed to yourself are you? To your growth, to everything that you've done on your journey. Are you going to just allow somebody not to appreciate you? Girl, bye. We have the Knight of Wands. Now this person is charging in for this union. You see what I'm saying? And that's how you do that there. No, anybody mistreats you, not even your divine counterpart. So if they come to you with a half ass offer this time, reject that too. You get what I'm saying? No, I don't want that little ass cup. Come correct. I'm your whole divine feminine. Don't give me that little ass cup. You can keep that. You can go get that little sippy cup to a baby or something. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, we got the Wheel of Fortune. Um, Glorilla song, Wannabe with Meg Thee Stallion. Baby! I played that shit back to back to back to back to back yesterday. I love that track. Get it blue. Get it blue. Get it blue. Get it blue. <laughs> We have Will of Fortune. You see what I'm saying? You know your fate. You know your destiny. You know who you are. You know what you're meant for. Greatness. You have divine protection all around you. The moon. We started off with the moonology deck. Then we used moonology sister. Moonology, right? They're both moonology. But I, I say they're sisters or cousins. <laughs> all right? The two decks. But we use the two moonology decks, all right? We use two different tarot decks. And we see how deeply in love with you this person is. We use two different decks and moon came out twice meanwhile we use two moon decks you understand what i'm saying so i told you it goes both ways they could be hot in their true feelings but some of you could be hot in your true feelings also you both make each other really really happy the sun and the moon are twin flames it could also be this energy here where and we also have that eclipse coming up on the eighth all right and notice this the moon is blocking the sun here in this um energy so anytime we have this particular eclipse where the moon is blocking the sunlight it's time for you to go within and do some adjustments inside, you know, some readjustments internally, right? Let me see what's going on up in Yandi, right? <laughs> so that I can see Eight of Wands, progress, like I said, spiritual work. So I really feel like the twins are coming together at this time. And also we have Mercury retrograde going on. Now, typically Mercury retrograde, you know, advisors, I, I'm going to say that I would not advise you to entertain any romantic situations during mercury retrograde however with this particular mercury retrograde based on the aspects and everything else um it actually highlights communication happening in relationships where you see progress all right where you are being vulnerable and you are this and you are that and that da, da, da. now if you haven't heard from somebody in 20 years and that person come back hell no still no you get what i'm saying but i feel like that's why this is coming up right now the twins are picking up on that mercury retrograde energy i'm feeling and also that eclipse energy okay yeah <laughs> and now trust by keisha cole comes on so yeah i feel like that's what it is you know the emperor trusts you they trust you they don't trust everybody and it took them a while to realize like wait a minute i trust this person you know and i don't trust everybody yeah i love them yeah i love this woman or i love this man you know this person realizes that they're in love with you and that you're your, their perfect match. You're like, let me show you love can be easy if you just let it be. You know, it doesn't have to be complicated. The twin flame thing does not have to be complicated. People make it complicated because they don't want to express themselves. You know, think about it. When it comes to other people, you know, they may look at you and say, oh, you're so this and you're so that and this and that, right? They always think these things about you. But your twin also thinks that about you. So the things that everybody thinks about them, like, oh, this is the cool kid or whatever, they think that about you. You know how other people may be intimidated to come up to them? They think that about you. Or like, you know, how other people may not want to say or do the wrong thing around them. They don't want to, you know, they think that about you. This is how twins feel about each other. So it makes it a little more complicated. Do you understand? It's like, um, instead of just being easy, open, and just saying, hey, this is how I feel. They just want to look and be their best self. It's like, just just say it just do it you know what i mean it comes very organic it comes very natural it's not something you have to force but when something happens like there's an interference a third party or 
some major life occurrence or anything like that that goes on, it usually adds a bunch of confusion. And again, everybody's story is different. So only take what resonates. But I'm just saying, this is what's coming up. So now we have a whole bunch of clarity coming in. This person wanted to clear the air. They wanted to let you know how they really feel, which is that they love you. Okay? So let us see. Let's get deeper. Let's pull some Dear Empress. I'm loving your big goddess energy, all right? Your love fills me with so much joy. This is the only place I want to be. You know, sometimes people are comfortable with certain energy. They're not, they're not, you know, they're ready to expand or grow beyond that at this point. There are so many things I never got the chance to say. I'm not quite sure there are words to match and or describe my feelings. Notice all the yellow, you make them very happy. You understand? This could be a cool cat. <laughs> and you make them just cheese. And they just like, whoa, I'm not used to this. All this damn cheesing. All right, I will be by your side, even on the worst of days. There is no other place I would rather be. Yeah, they're in love. They are in love. Yeah, okay. Yeah, see, some of you could have been married before or had child or children when you met this person, and maybe they didn't, you know, and their family and friends weren't too big on that, and that had a lot to do with it, okay? Um, they could have confided in people about it, like, I love this person, however, this is the thing for me, and they're like, well, if that's the thing for you, then that's a really big thing, and, you know, it is, you know, you have the things that you're okay with, you have the things that you're not okay with. If the person wasn't okay with it, you can't just be like, hey, be with me. Despite how you feel about this, be with me. No, they wanted something else, so you let them go and do that. But ultimately, they're like, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's not what I want. I want you and whatever comes with you, you know? So that's what I'm getting. This isn't an ordinary love, and I have every intention on making sure you know this. Mm -hmm. They feel like you're their best friend. I love that you are in this world, but not of it. You make me want to be a better person. All right. Low vibrational energies are what I most resonated with at the time. You were too different, yet my perfect match. Do you see what I'm saying? At the time, it was just too different. OK, too, too different. All right. So let us go ahead, clear the board and get deeper here. All right. As we were, you all let's get some love messages from your person. They're doing a lot of thinking during this time apart. Got a crush on you. Breaking these newer cards in. Yeah, they're thinking about you a lot. They want you to hold them or they want to hold you. Both. Nothing wrong with holding your man, child. Changing. Follow your bliss. What did I say? You have a heart full of bliss. <laughs> Karmic battles. Doubt. Thinking. They feel you doubting, all right? We're going to pull these cards and then you're going to read them. All right. And then we have Our Love is Real. Aww. <laughs> Underline the energy, unspoken. Yeah, see, there are so many words that they never got the chance to say, you know. They don't know if there's any words to match or describe their feelings. Remember that card? All right, changing. It says, I'm working hard to change, to face up to all that I have been doing. Excuse me, all that I have been avoiding for so long. I know I need to do more, but I feel so exhausted and tired. Your love is inspiring me to do necessary changes in my life. I would say to make necessary changes in my life, okay? So, again, make necessary adjustments, okay? Follow your bliss. I feel good when I know you are happy. Do something that you enjoy today. Feelings of joy and hope will bring us closer on our journey and will put you at ease. Mm -hmm. Do things that put you at ease, make you feel good. Karmic battles, all right? I am releasing what no longer serves me. What did I say? Please be patient with my process of growth and change as I come into my power. I am making sure that everything is in alignment so I can be with you. I am severing my ties with karmic situation and completing a cycle. 
What did I say? Doubt. Please stop doubting our connection. I can sense it and it's making me doubt too. Just have faith and know I will reach out to you when divine timing is right. Trust the process, my love. Everything will work out beautifully. Thinking. I am thinking about you at this moment. Thoughts of you never leave my mind. No matter where I go, the songs I am hearing reminds me of you. It makes me more vulnerable. And I think about you even more. Okay. Our love is real. It's safe for you to love me. Trust in us and in the guidance of the higher realm. Have faith that it is safe to love me as much as I love you. Didn't I say that? Our union is protected by angels and we are destined to be together. Our love is true, divine, and unconditional. That's beautiful, you guys. Underline the energy is unspoken, okay? It says, there is so much yet to be spoken. There is so much I want to say, but it, I find it difficult to put my feelings into words. Didn't I say that? Just know that you are very important to me. The depth of my love for you is beyond words. There is so much unspoken between us, which I will soon reveal to you, okay? There are so many things unspoken between us, which I will soon reveal to you. That's how I would say, okay? All right, so let us see. Hey. Mm, mm, hey. All right. Where is my strength? Elk, endure. Okay, where is my strength? Defend. Am I fully claiming my authority? Badger. Yeah, karmic battle, see? Am I fully claiming my authority? Do I accept myself without judgment? Earthworm, breathe. See, keep doubting. Breathe. What riches do I carry within? Hold. <clears throat> Underlying the energy here is the clouds. Okay. This card in particular represents memories from other lifetimes coming back. This person is already recognizing what's what, okay? So it's not a soulmate twin flame. It's a karmic twin flame. You know, they have to figure out, not saying this is a karmic twin flame to you. I'm saying they have to make a decision between a karmic relationship and a twin flame relationship. We already see what they're choosing. They don't want to stay in this karmic battle, okay? So they're ending something when the time comes, though. Right? It's not a matter of, oh, let me go ahead and end this right now because that's what I want. It's what feminine want. No, is that what's supposed to happen at this time? When the time comes, they will do that. Am I fully claiming my authority? They will defend themselves accordingly. Okay? Do I accept myself without judgment? Breathe. Okay? You're working through things and some of the spaces may be tighter than others, but it's okay. How are you getting through it? How are you navigating through it? How are you finding your way through all of this? Don't be so hard on yourself. I mentioned something about the sun and the moon. Here it is again. The sun and the moon. So again, when it's like, how do you get through something? How do you overcome something? How do you allow yourself to get through or overcome those things? <clears throat> something to really think about here. All right, for our feminines. Okay, this is where your masculine is right now. Endure. Okay, you are exactly where you need to be. I know territory. You're wondering what's going on, what's happening. They're remembering little by little. And when they fully remember, they're going to step into their power, into their authority, that emperor energy. That's what the emperor represents, an authority figure. Fire element. Regeneration and transformation. Okay. Six auric field, future and resonance. Okay, yeah, so see, in the future, this is what will be happening. They're going to go where they resonate. Okay, spleen meridian, thoughts and energy distribution. Mm hmm. 
how I think about myself affects my energy, you know. Eighth auric field, interdimensionality and time travel. This card has been coming up a lot. So again, they're traveling through many different experiences and they're recalling little by little. Okay, remember we did see recalling. That was the very first card when we started shuffling the situations deck. All right, we have large intestine meridian, release and cleansing. Yeah, didn't I say that earlier? What do you need to release? We're releasing doubt. We're releasing fear. Okay, we're laying back, watching the clouds, meditating. Yeah, am I receiving peace and giving ourselves peace? Okay, what am I opening into? What am I becoming? Okay, who am I becoming? Water element, cleansing and flow. Yeah, all right, so allowing things to just flow and be what they are, okay, is what I see here. Everything is falling into place exactly as it should, okay. <clears throat> Glamour. Okay. It says, into this mirror I now see the realms of possibility. Okay. Prosperity. As this tree grows so strong, so fine, so may I prosper from the universal divine. Okay. Inspiration. Isis, goddess of magic, I ask thee to bring your inspiration to me. Okay. Underline the energy, best possible decision. Artemis, goddess of the bow, help me see what must be known, all right? Ashe, blessed be, it is so. <clears throat> I pray that this helps you. I know that it will. In the event that this was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and hungry.